The owners of a house in Caithness are being plagued by visits from people who've come to collect second-hand cars they think they've bought online. People have travelled hundreds of miles to Castletown from as far away as Northern Ireland and London after falling for a car selling scam. Andrew Thompson reports. Buying a second-hand car is not easy, especially if you're doing it online. But that tough task turned into a nightmare for this man from Wales, who thought he'd bought an Audi A5 from a seller in Caithness. He paid £5,700 by direct bank transfer and only realised he'd been scammed when he called the delivery company. I was told on the phone that they didn't deliver cars, you best get in contact with the police as you've been scammed. I was absolutely gutted. I come home, I just wanted to cry in bed and left, be left alone. The one small mercy was that Gianluca hadn't physically made the round trip of well over a thousand miles to Caithness in person to pick up the vehicle from an address in Castletown, but a series of other victims have. Well, it started after a day after Christmas. That was the first person to appear. And uh, roughly about every three weeks a month, there's been people here and uh, we've had to speak to them. Some of them's been quite annoyed and angry. The owners of the property are alarmed at the steady stream of people showing up to collect vehicles that simply don't exist. A gentleman arrived up all the way from London in horrendous weather conditions as well. They've come from Manchester, Bradford, Ireland. It's just a worry who's going to be there at, at the door basically and the worry that if they have paid money that they could possibly try to demand it back. This sophisticated scam has absolutely nothing to do with the owners of this property, but yet they and their neighbours are being caught up in the after effects of this fraudulent online activity. The police are investigating. It's worth pointing out though, that this is not just an issue here. This kind of fraud could be happening at any address across Scotland. Andrew Thompson, Reporting Scotland, Caithness. A murder inquiry is underway following the